So hello everyone, we've got a very reliable PC here. It's the HP Compact Elite A300 Small Form Factor PC. It's one reliable PC that has stood the test of time. And in this particular one, I've got an Intel Core i7-3770 processor, 4GB of DDR3 RAM, as well as a 120GB SSD. Well, I felt like it was time for me to give this PC a little boost and to do that, I'll be slotting on a 16GB DDR3 RAM as well as a 1TB SSD. This is one thing you can easily do when you have a PC like this. This PC, like I said previously, has stood the test of time. It's been working very good and very well for me. I've not had any problem with it, but I just felt like upgrading it to give it a little bit of uh, new life. But before we do that, we're going to be taking a brief look at what this PC has to offer. So in front of the PC, this particular one has got a DVD drive and we've got one, two, three, four USB ports and we've got the uh, headphone and the microphone jack right here. Taking a look at the back of the PC, we've got the LAN port, two additional USB 2.0, four USB 3.0, a display port, a serial port, a VGA port, PS2, for the keyboard and the mouse, as well as audio jacks. So we'll be going right into this PC. The work we have to do here is very simple, which is to upgrade it with a 16 gigabyte DDR3 RAM, as well as a one terabyte SSD. So to open this PC, all you have to do is to raise up the lever right here and give it a little push up and the top cover easily comes out. Right here, we've got the uh, RAM. And like I said, it's a 4 gigabyte uh, RAM that's going to be going out. And right here is the SSD. Luckily for us, we already have an SSD holder on this PC, which is going to make our upgrade very much easy. It's an Intel 120 gigabyte SSD. So all I'm going to be doing is to swap out this SSD and replace it with this one terabyte SSD. For that, unfortunately, my star screwdriver will not be able to open this. So I have to get a flathead screwdriver. And this is one thing you have to be aware of because on the HP PCs, you might have proprietary screws. And sometimes you might also need a flathead to take out the screws. So now I've got my flathead screwdriver. So all I have to do is to go ahead and take out the screws one after the other. So that that goes here now this is the third one just have to take that out as well and we've got that right there at this point, I have to go ahead and unbox my SSD this is a very good SSD I got this off of Amazon and these things are getting really cheap these days. I'm going to be leaving a link in the description where you can actually get one of these. So now that we have the SSD, all I have to do is to reverse the process, which is to take the SSD right into the holder and go ahead and screw on the screws. Sometimes it may be difficult to get a hold of the screws because this screwdriver I'm using is not magnetic. So it makes things a little bit uh, difficult. So your best bet will be to get uh, yourself a screwdriver that has a magnetic tip. And in this way, it makes screwing the screws pretty much an easy process. Well, in this case, I'm just going to try to manage it through for the video. And I've got the last one right here. So if you've gotten the screws all screwed in, it should look exactly like this. At this point, what I like to do is to take my SATA and power cables and already plug them onto the SSD. Otherwise, you could also do it by first putting the SSD holder right into the chassis and thereafter plugging on the cables. But I kind of like to do it like this. In this way, I know that I only have to slot in the uh, SSD holder. The thing with the HP uh, lock system is that to bring out the hard drive holder, you always have to depress the green lever right here. In this way, your hard drive holder comes out. And if you want to put it back in, uh, in this case, you really do not have to 
depress the uh, lever. You just have to drop the SSD holder right in the compartment and push it back in. You get a little click which tells you that the hard drive holder is properly sitting in place. So now that this is right in, the next thing for me to do is to go ahead and replace the RAM sticks. I also got this off of Amazon. It's a product I've used over and over and again. So I can really say that it's a really good product. And uh, Also, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description where you can easily get one of these. If you are thinking of upgrading your PC, it's a DDR3 RAM, 8GB each, making a total of 16GB. And that's the RAM here, looking all fresh from the factory. And this is going to go here. And the second RAM sticks goes right here. So this PC can actually hold up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. So if I was thinking of upgrading this to a 64 gigabytes uh, RAM PC, then I can actually add two more modules, which actually makes this PC very upgrade friendly. So now that the RAM sticks are in, I'm going to go ahead and close the DVD drive compartment. So the beautiful thing about this PC is the way it looks, it's looking very clean. I really do not have to do any extra cleaning. But just to be extra sure, I always like to take a look at the fans just to be sure that uh, there are no dust or debris hiding right there. You see, all looking clean. This is very interesting. If it wasn't looking clean, then at this point, I would have used a dust blower to really clean it up. This is not particularly very uh, dirty, but in any case, I still have to use a rag to just clean things out a little bit. So this is how it looks if you had to upgrade your HP Compact Elite 8300 small form factor PC. But given that I also want to use a wireless LAN card with this PC, I've decided to add a TP-Link N300 wireless LAN adapter to this PC, which is also a very uh, easy process. In this case, all I have to do is to take up this uh, lock right here. And thereafter, take out one uh, PCI bracket because the wireless LAN card is going to be going right there. The beautiful thing about this wireless LAN card is that in the packet, you pretty much get a low profile bracket. In this way, you can actually uh, install this wireless LAN card on a tower PC as well as on a small form factor PC like this one. So in order to do that, I will have to get rid of the uh, full profile bracket on the card. That's gone and then replace it with the low profile brackets. And thereafter, you can go ahead to install it on your PC by slotting it onto the PCI slot. So if you've screwed everything correctly, it should actually look like this and then place it on the PCI slot and give it a gentle push. Be careful not to break anything and then make sure you close back the lock at the back. The beautiful thing about this PC is that you really do not need any screw to uh, hold down the PCI card. And having done that, you can then go ahead and screw on the antennas one after the other. So this is exactly how it looks if you've done everything rightly. In this way, we've succeeded in upgrading the SSD on this PC, the RAM, as well as the wireless LAN card. So I'm going to go ahead and close this PC, and just like the way we opened it, so we're going to go ahead and place the cover right on the edge and give it a gentle push downwards. With that, we should have concluded the work that we set out to do today. I hope this video helps you. If it did, go ahead and click on the like button, subscribe to the channel. Until I see you again, peace.